All right, so class, uh, we have done the enlargement. This time we are starting with the matrix transformation. And uh, before going to begin with the matrix transformation, you know that how do you write uh, matrix? Matrix is always can be written in this form. Like I can write in front of you A. Can you see the screen properly? B, C, and D. Yes or no? This is the form which is being yes, sir. for us. Yes, this is a representation of the matrix, right? And uh, if I'm going to ask from you, what is the order of this matrix? What is the order of this matrix? You always write the order of matrix like M times N. Your actually M represents what? Your M represents number of rows, all right? Your M represents number of rows got it however your n represents number of come on columns okay so how many number of rows we have how many number of rows we have Two. Two. We always find the order. Order of matrix is always can be written M by N. Order of matrix is always can be written N by N. Let me write properly the order of matrix. Order of matrix. Okay, your order of matrix is actually M by N, and uh, you have to write the order of matrix like the order of matrix number of rows by number of columns, right? Till here it is clear. It, that was the slightly introduction for matrices. Right now, let me start with the reflection, right? Okay. Now, when I'm talking about the reflection, let me draw the two planes. Your y axis, your x axis. Is it visible to you? Yes. This plane is visible to you. X axis and y axis plane is visible. Yes or no? Now try to locate your first one point. Like for example, uh, this first point is always can be written by. This first point is always can be written by one, one and zero. What are the coordinates for this? One and zero. Okay, tell me what are the coordinates of this? Yes, come on. What are the coordinates? Yes, class. Hafsa, Ashwin, Zero, one. Okay, and what are the coordinates for this? Quickly tell me. Minus one Absolutely. comma zero. Okay, minus one comma zero. All right, minus one comma zero is fine. And what are the coordinates of this? Quickly. All right. Now, first of all, as and when you are going to go for the reflection, you should know the basic concept that first of all, the step number one is to write the nearby points. The first points after the origin. This is your origin, right? And you just try to locate the first points uh, after, you know, marking the center of origin over the graph. 
mark the nearby points 1 comma 0 for the positive horizontal axis negative horizontal axis is minus 1 and 0 positive y axis 0 minus 0 comma 1 negative uh, negative y axis is 0 mi comma minus 1 right till here is clear step 1 is clear shall i proceed yes sir okay now try to understand the concept what i'm saying is now you need to understand the concept of you know uh, revealing the matrix through this plane of x axis and y axis this is just like a game now you need you only need to remember this thing that this particular area is specifically for y is equal to x and this is specifically for y is equals to minus x since this particular plane the first quadrant the order of the quadrant is always going to be written like first this is first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant and this is your fourth quadrant yes or no shall i proceed okay this is the order so always remember your uh, you know uh, this point that your first quadrant is of y is equal to x and your third quadrant is of y is equal to minus x and your <clears throat> second quadrant is your y axis second quadrant is your y axis and your fourth quadrant is which is left is your x axis now see you are actually going to reveal the matrices through these planes right so you have four coordinates you have four quadrants right and always the quadrants can be written in this this way like first second third and fourth now this time you are starting with let's say transformation matrix i'm just starting with transformation matrix here okay let me write transformation formation matrix now transformation matrix for y is equals to x okay transformation matrix for y is equals to x now you tell me what would be the transformation matrix for y is equals to x actually you have to understand this time that you always remember one thing when it comes to the reflection this is what we are doing reflection transformation matrix and reflection okay specifically we are doing reflection so what i mean to say is uh let me write like this okay now whenever the reflection transformation is going on you always move uh with the matrices only can be revealed with the help of clockwise movement okay with the help of clockwise movement what i mean to say i'll explain you further this you must have to have a patience okay now see how you are going to read the matrix now you see the matrix from y is equal to x specifically when it comes to y is equal to x try to read from this from this coordinate to this coordinate how you are going to read from this coordinate to this coordinate see it's written zero and one see i'm i'm just mentioning this zero here okay i'm writing zero here and i'm writing one here okay it is going to be zero and one yes or no yes class yes sir okay you tell me the next one now what will be the other what would be the other matrix then if it is 0 and 1 for y is equal to x what would be the other one come on one Tell zero me. one and zero excellent this time 
this is what you have revealed the matrix for y is equals to x. Okay. Now, what I am asking from you is to reveal matrix of y is equals to minus x. I want Hafsa Ashmi to reveal this matrix y is equal to minus x with a similar way the way we have revealed y is equal to x. Yes, Hafsa. Minus one, zero and zero minus one. Y is equals to minus X. Y is equals to minus X is starting from here. You just see it is actually the arrow is going like this. Arrow is going like this. OK, if the arrow is going like this means you will start with this this point. If you are marking this point zero. OK, so next is your. Hafsa, next is your zero and next is your minus one. Minus yes or no? OK, now tell me the next two points. Hafsa. Tell me the minus two one, more. Zero. Minus one and zero. I hope that you are getting how to reveal the matrix. Yes or no? Yes, Hafsa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, Umay Salit, it's your turn. Try to reveal of x axis. What would be the transformation for x axis? Reflection in x axis. Yes. Tell me the matrix. Yes. Mesalit, what is the answer of uh, reveal the transformation matrix of x axis? Is it going to be first of all? One zero. One zero. Perfect. This is one. Minus one zero. This is zero. This is okay. Now, if it is one zero, then now next turn is. You are moving minus here. one and zero. No, 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 minus one. Actually, you are moving from here, from these to this coordinate to this coordinate. If you are saying one and zero, so what would be the another one? See, you are selecting one and zero first. One and zero, yes or no? You selected this. First, you zero. selected this and this. Yes, this has to be zero. This has to be zero and minus one. Correct. Minus this one. is yes, this is correct. Now you understand how do you reveal the x axis now? Afsa Ashmi, tell me for y axis. Now it's your turn, Hafsa Ashmi. Can you hear me, Hafsa? Minus one zero. Uh, y axis, where is it? Yes, okay. That's good. It's going to be uh, minus is moving from here till here. So once again, it's going to be minus one. Yes, upside it's minus one. Yes, and it's zero. What is next? Zero what one. Is next? Zero and one. So this is how you reveal the transformation work matrix for the reflection. These all are the transformation matrix of the reflection, right? And it would be a really helpful source for you when you are, you are going to apply this in your paper. And in your paper, you will be given the matrix and you need to identify that which sort of matrix is this. Is it going to be a rotation? Is it going to be a translation or reflection? So which thing indicates this? Actually, you should know these of the these all are the matrices. You should know how do you reveal how you are getting the matrices. And yes, once you have revealed the matrices, it's now easy for you. It's a quite easy task for you to remember, right? OK, is there any question that you need to ask? Shall I proceed to the next? Yes or yeah, no? Yes, sir. OK. Before going to proceed, 
can you just take out your worksheet quickly? Take in your worksheet. The transformation worksheet is it with you or not? Yes, sir. All right. Just try to look into the reflection or reflection that we have found. Is it the same or not? Y is equal to X. So, Ms. Lee, can you just look into the worksheet and tell me what is the matrix for reflection written in the worksheet? Is it same 0110? Yes, sir. Is it same? Yes. OK, what about y is equal to minus x? Is it same? Yes, sir. OK, and x axis? Is it same or not? Yes, sir. And on y axis, is it same? Yes, sir. OK, so I'm going to save this. OK. OK, now this time we are going to start with. Next concept, which is of rotation. OK. This is what we have done with the reflection. I hope that you find this reflection quite easy for you. Once it's, it is easy to reveal the matrix, it's nothing for you. OK. But you should know the basic concept of multiplication and addition and subtraction of the matrices, right? OK, anyways. Let me start with. Rotation. OK, so you tell me for the rotation, what are the three things required? Card or or. Yes, you require with the or, door, and car. And what is or? Angle of reflection. Sorry, angle of rotation. Okay. And door? Direction. Car? Center. OK, the center of rotation, right? Now I'm going to. Once again. Let me draw the X axis and Y axis plane. All right, and let me mark. All the points, the first nearest points uh, the scenario is entirely uh, you know, same, right? Uh, you have to make a scenario. The target is to reveal the coordinates uh, reveal the transformation matrix for the rotation, right? This is your target. Let me write. Rotation. OK, now first of all, what is the near nearby point? Tell me the coordinates of this quickly. Now this time you have to be very quick. Let me see. Uh, are you going to answer me first or I'm first to write? OK. OK, tell me. Zero comma one. OK, obviously you want this time. Minus one comma zero. Obviously once again one. Excellent. Zero comma minus one. OK, I won first. OK, that's OK. Now 
this time you need to uh, you know understand the concept since we have a uh, angle of rotation uh, clockwise anti clockwise right and for 180 degree what is the what was the uh, you know concept when it comes to the 180 degree yes can can you tell me that what was taught to you when it comes to 180 degree about the direction Do you know the? Did you remember the concept for 180 degree? It th there is no such concept of. Uh, see, it's quite same when it comes to the clockwise, and if it's con come to the anti-clockwise, you will find the object on the same place. For that reason, it's not uh, mandatory to you know mention your clockwise or anti-clockwise. Anyways, but there is a concept of. Or door and core, which is angle of uh, and angle of rotation, direction of rotation, center of rotation. Now you have to go this time anti clock arrow. You have to put an anti clock arrow when when it comes to the rotation. What was the cycle in reflection of arrows? Yes. What was the cycle of the arrows? In reflection, what was reflection, reflection when, when it was clockwise. Now this time in rotation, you have to put a cycle of arrows in this anti-clock way, right? And this is your nothing but 90 degree clockwise. This is nothing but your 90 degree clock. got it and this is opposite to this is 90 degree anti clock i'm writing in short form right and yes this is similar to 180 if you are going to mention it okay let it 180 degree okay it's both a 180 degree right now how you're going to reveal it just first of all if i'm talking about 90 degree if I'm talking about 90 degree, clockwise. If I'm going to ask from you, reveal the transformation 90 degree clockwise. 90 degree clockwise. So can you tell me, you know, how do you reveal? 90 degree clockwise this time. Yes, Umme Salit. I already so have written the order. Uh, zero comma one linger or one comma zero. Zero, zero, first of all, zero. And then. One. Zero and one. Is it going to be one or minus one? Yes, what is written in the one? It's going to be one or minus one. What I'm asking from you. Minus one. If it is three, zero, one and one and zero. You mean to say like this? Yes. If it is 90 degree clockwise, it's moving clockwise. If it is 90 degree clockwise, this has to be. Sorry, repeat. Repeat again. No, I'm saying that it's going clockwise. We have to use anti-clockwise coordinates. So, you have to say 0 minus 1 or 1, 0. Uh, this one I'm saying rotation and clockwise. When it comes to the rotation in clockwise, so look into the clockwise rotation. This clockwise rotation is nothing but zero comma one. It should be minus one, right? Yes. It should be minus yes. one. Yes. Okay, what about next? 
tell me 90 degree anti clockwise 90 degree anti clockwise yes umeshri this time umeshri can you tell me sir, 0 1 and minus 1 0 tell me it's 0 1 when it comes to the anti clockwise is it's going to be 0 1 and minus 1 0 minus 1 and 0 all right. Can you tell me, um, uh, Miss? Uh, sorry, Hafsa Ashmi, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hafsa Ashmi, can you reveal the uh, the matrix of 180 degree? I already have mapped the x-axis and y-axis plane, and I already have written all the things. Now you need to reveal. The way Umesali is, uh, you know, making me write all the matrices of, uh, you know, 90 degree clockwise, anti clockwise, and 180 degree. Yes, this time it's is a turn of 180 degree. Yes, what is the answer of 180 degree? Minus one zero zero minus one. Minus one zero and zero minus one all right so you you have observed this thing that when it comes to the 90 degree it is quite easy for you to write down the coordinates and when it comes to 90 degree anti-clockwise right this is also easy for you to write down the coordinates okay and now this time i think uh, Yes, one thing more I would like to say that when it comes to the rotation, 180 degree is only a direction which is for the both clockwise and anti-clockwise remain same. And that is the reason I have not mentioned it's a clockwise or anti-clock. All right, but however, 90 degree, you can find 90 degree clockwise, you can find 90 degree anti-clockwise, but you have to reveal the way I already have explained to you. Okay, is there any question that you need to ask from rotation? Yes or no? Yes, Hafsa, any question? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, Hafsa, uh, can, can you just completely summarize the uh, the you know the process of revealing the matrices of rotation yes from the beginning of rotation yes yes hafsa In rotation, we move anti-clockwise, and uh, we mark. First of all, we mark the um, coordinates. Like uh, the second coordinate is for 90, 90 degree anti-clockwise. The first and third coordinate is for one eighty degree, and the fourth coordinate is for ninety degree clockwise. And then we uh, jot down the um, coordinates according to the degree. Okay, yes, Ummay Salid. What is your understanding? Sir, so I got understanding that in rotation we always move anti clockwise. And according to that, when we are given the question, we have to always move anti clockwise and find out the coordinates and write it in the matrix. Okay, got it. So now we'll proceeding to the transformation vector matrix. So transformation vector is uh, quite easy for you. And let me save this. First of all.
Okay. All right. So now uh, moving towards to the translation. Translation matrix. What was the concept in translation matrix? Yes. Can anyone tell me what was the concept of translation matrix? Sam count kar dete left se right aur niche wale mein matlab negative ya positive value up and down. See, translation matrix is quite easy for you to understand. You only have to get the see we already have done the column vector. Okay, it's a column matrix. It's a sort of matrix that we have done priorly when I was doing the translation matrix. Just you need to understand that how do you find the translation ve vector if the original image object has been translated to image. OK, if the object has been translated to image, you will find the column vector and your column vector always can be mentioned uh, that is in the form of H and K. OK, that is the you can write it down like whatever the translation vector is that move in X. All right, when it comes to the edge means whatever the moment you will find you will add it. OK, that means it's positive or negative maybe and whatever moment on in your Y axis that is your Y plus K, right? And this is how you apply the translation matrix is quite easy and uh, translation matrix change in a, you know move in x and move in y like I, I already have given you the example when we were doing for example this is this is your triangle object and this is being moved here somehow okay now it's quite easy for you just count the number of boxes one two three four five six like this is your six and then one two let's say it's two okay so it's going to be minus two okay when you come down you write negative when you come up uh, when you go up you have to write positive but you always remember one thing you first you need to write x and you need to write write y yes or no is it easy or not? Yes, sir. OK, and now last but not least is your enlargement actually. Enlarge enlargement uh, for the enlargement. What is needed? First of all, tell me. For the enlargement. For the enlargement matrix. You tell me for the basic enlargement transformation, what are the things which were required? Yes. Center of enlargement. Scale factor. Significant yes. factor. Yes. Factor. Center of enlargement. Yes. Center of enlargement and a scale factor, right? So enlargement is uh, definitely the center of enlargement only or uh, only can be find with the help of like for example uh, you will find definitely the coordinates actually when it comes to the enlargement factor uh, you will find the coordinates right and uh, yes when it comes to the scale factor uh, center of enlargement only can be written in the format of uh, you know coordinates when it comes to the scale factor scale factor is always represent by which letter? Can you tell me? Did you remember? What was the letter? SF. No. It was K. Yes or no? Oh, it's yes, sir. And the matrix that you are going to find, this is quite easy for you to find out the matrix. 
it's nothing but k o o k you will remember this matrix without any findings simply word is cook it's like cook right just for remembrance it's the general form of your matrix is cook all right and now k k is the scale factor you will find in the place of this matrix at times it depends on uh, the question whatever the question may be given to you at times the scale factor is given two three four whatever it is given if it is giving two so you just write two zero zero two so you will find the scale factor like this and you will perform the task according to the enlargement matrix this is your enlargement matrix right and this is quite this is the only one uh, larger matrix where the letter k is written right the k o o k right that is cook and this is quite understandable and you will find the center of enlargement you know that how do you find in simply and now i request you all to uh, practice from your past papers since your uh, grand test is you know approaching very soon do you know this your grant test is approaching very soon do you have an idea yes sir okay so your grant test is going to be taken uh, probably in first week of december uh, or maybe last week of november or first week of december is you know there is a chance and the second thing that you might be thinking of the topics of your grand test are you thinking for the topics for the grand test yes or no so aapke topics kya hain kya kya matlab test mein aayenge okay what if i say all the topics are coming okay then let me off the recorder Recording is going on. Let me just hold on. Hold on. Just wait.